Hi, can a simply supported beam develop torsion? This is what we are going to discuss today. And this came from one of my posts. Those who follow me on social media knows that I post questions every day in Instagram and LinkedIn. And I had a post on this. Which of the below statement is wrong about simply supported beam? And one of the option was will not develop torsion in it and that led to discussions in my forum and that's the reason I thought I will come up with a video so that it will be helpful for the students who are starting their career in structures. Hi all, this is Premjit here from Civilera.com. In this video, I am not going to discuss about what is a simply supported beam or what is its support condition, what is its deflection or anything like its moment or any other matter pertaining to simply supported beam. If you are keen in understanding all these in the description of this video, I have given you another video link and also a link to the blog. One of the blog has an additional video and that will lead you to more understanding on simply supported beam. So please ensure you go through both the links that I have provided in the description of this video. I will also suggest you to like this video and then follow my channel in addition to following my blog if you are keen to follow me everywhere and get all the tips and tricks in structures. In this figure I have shown you a simply supported beam, a beam which is resting on walls on either side. So this is a simply supported beam. Now how can a torsion arise in any beam for that matter? There are various reasons for development of torsion in a beam. Again, as I mentioned, you can read the blog that I had mentioned in the description for understanding how torsion is developed in a beam. Let me practically tell you one simple case here where a beam is simply supported and then there is a chance of rotation. If you take an e-lintel beam, you will have a lintel and then you will have a projection onto the outside of the building like a cantilever or a sunshade. Now mind you, this particular beam, if it is a cut lintel like this only at the opening and if it is not running through and not connected to a column, there is going to be a overturning moment on the beam. For a moment let us forget that there is a wall on top of it. Let us assume that there is no wall on top of it for simplifying our understanding. So if that's the case, there is an overturning moment on this particular lintel. Now is that a torsion? What do you mean by torsion? A torsion means twisting of your cross section. Here in this particular case, there is no twisting of the cross section of your beam. It's being rolled over. It is being overturned by that particular moment created by the projection here. You can create this situation by your own by using any box, a toothpaste cover or something like that and then try to apply a moment on that in this direction along the cross section about the length of the beam and then see what happens. It won't be twisting, it will be overturning. So there is a difference here. You can see this particular figure here when you search on Google or if you see this you can see that the cross section is twisted. So this action is what you call as torsion. What this simply supported beam develop is not that because of one reason that is it's not fixed into a column. Now the moment you have something like a column here at least at one end the case is different. Now this end is restrained and because of that restraint, when you apply a moment like this, it becomes a torsion because that's going to twist your cross section. If you have a column on either side and if it's monolithically done, even then that's the case, it's going to be subjected to a torsion. But please note that when that is monolithic with a column, then that is not a simply supported beam, that becomes a restrained beam. Your ends are restrained. So this is the point that I wanted to convey today. That is, if you have a beam supported on a brick wall like this on either ends, then probably what you are thinking as torsion is not what it is. You need to have at least one end rest in order the beam develops a torsion. There are a lot many things 
additional points that you need to know about torsion, compatibility torsion and equilibrium torsion and so on. All this, as I said, if you read the links which I have given in the description that will add to your understanding. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please express it by liking the video and then sharing it and follow the blogs and the YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Have a great time.